Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, sorry about the uploads being a little bit later and then the streams being a little bit later. I'm kind of chilling right now, man. I'm sleeping. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like being a little lazy. So not on a full on schedule at the moment of getting up early, getting the upload up. You guys know how it is. Now, we have stuff to talk about because the market is 100% just dying. Uh, it, it's literally just dying. Um, there's no other way to really put it. I have 7.5 million coins and I did a flip and import the other day. I have like 33 to 32 mil coins. So to show you what I mean with the problem with that is that I can't sell anything, which is a really bad look um, at the moment. Uh, so I'll walk you guys through what's going on. I'll walk you guys through some of what's going to happen. And let's just talk a little bit about the market going forward, what I'm expecting, all that. Guys, also, we casually, we got like 19 wins in Weekend League. Uh... So, yeah, we have some gold, too, this week, I guess. I'm not really looking at the wins or the losses. I'm just kind of trying out teams, not really sweating it or going crazy. Um, why does it say there's eight sales if there's only seven? I'm so confused. Okay, so maybe at some point it'll it'll put it through. So what just sold? Shevchenko? So that was a loss of 10K after tax. So all these cards right here, I mean, these cards are all losses. I mean, this kind of ours profit because he was in my team, but the rest of them are losses. And if you look at my transfer list, I have a ton of icons and just a ton of cards that I got really liquid on Friday. And then I've been trading all weekend and I just get caught. My, I think my biggest flaw is that like, I don't really know when to stop. So I keep going all weekend and it's never like, it's never a good long-term thing. Now this team of the week is really rare. Um, I decided to pick up some Firminos last night. I bought them at like 151 to 155. He's actually lower than he is. He's actually lower right now, which is kind of a feels bad. Um, I also picked up two Aguero's, one at 170. And I think that's a good like deal, but I have no idea. I mean, guys, in this market, it's really, really crazy how much people are panic selling. And the reason that people are selling cards at the moment, guys, is because of team of the year. So people are, are selling cards, guys, at the moment uh, in, a, in a scare of team of the year uh coming right and that's that's like a decent it's it's like a it's like an okay to worry kind of fear but what i will tell you guys in my experience and you guys know if you guys don't already these kimmiches were bought uh because of peace check but it's probably not going to work out so we're going to kind of just have to lazy list these because at the moment it's just not even it's not even looking like it's going to work um but anyways back to my point people guys people sell cards in 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 preparation for team of the year because two things, right? One, there, there's two main reasons why they do it. The first one is that they think the market's going to die. Uh, and then the second one is that they think they're going to be able to afford the cards. So you've got two main reasons of why people do this every single year. Now, team of the year is on the 6th, I believe. So it is not going to be until um, the following Monday. I believe team of the year starts next Monday. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think next Monday. So... What does this mean? In my opinion, guys, that means that obviously it's not going to be on Friday, which means that you're going to have a chance for the market, I think, this weekend to breathe. What I think EA will do is they're going to put a loading screen in. And if you guys don't know what a loading screen is, a loading screen is the screen when you load in and it's the screen that's like right in your face that's trying to tell you like what's going on or what's happening. So in my opinion, EA is going to put a loading screen right here. They're going to say team of the year, four days and 30, four days and 30 minutes or four days in 10 hours, something like that until team of the year. That's kind of how they're going to do it. They're going to put it right here, put it in your face. But the fact of the matter is, is that weekend league is going on next weekend. Obviously you guys know that there is weekend league next weekend, which means that people are going to have to buy teams and people are going to have to buy cards back. It's kind of like, it's kind of my thought process through it. So what I think is that the market is going to go lower until Thursday. And then I think it's going to go up. I do. I really think it's going to go up Thursday and Friday. And then I think Saturday, it's going to start to go down again. What I am scared about at the moment, and this is like what I'm not sure about, kind of as a guy who's giving you guys information, and this is genuinely what I don't know about yet. Does the market go lowest from, from yesterday until Wednesday to the point where it's so low that rewards is going to push it up and then it only has Saturday and Sunday to get back down to that low? If you guys kind of understand what I'm saying. So, we're going to have this prolonged five-day sell-off period right now. Is there a lowest point in these five days to where the rewards is going to push the market up and, and it may not get that low again? Now, the safe play for you guys is to wait, right? Would be to wait. That That's always the safest play. 
you never want to be the earliest to buy. That's never the move, guys. Ever, ever, ever. And like my experience of trading or anything like that, you just you never want to be the person that is the last person to buy. You just you just you don't want to be too early. You don't want to be too late, right? That's obviously the thing. But what I always tell my viewers is that it's way better to be late to the party than early. You always want to be buying 10% later uh, in price <clears throat> than 10% early. And that's just got to be something that you guys all understand as people who are trying to manage your accounts, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you guys got to understand that that's like a big fundamental thing uh, of what's going on. Um, so how can we see the market down? Well, let me tell you this, right? Garincha 92 was 1.4 on Friday night. Okay. I picked him up. He's one, one, two right now. God damn it, man. So I bought him at one, two, two, trying to flip him at one, two, nine, and I couldn't sell him. And now he's one, one, five. So that is the state of the market. And if you want another look at it, my team, right? This is always a really good example because this weekend I adapted almost a, an approach of the everyday FIFA player, because obviously I bought some players on Friday night, which is what a lot of people do. A lot of people wait to see if there's a promo or not. So let's take a look guys, right? Neymar's gold card. <laughs> I bought him at 790 K. So where is this price right now? He's out of packs and he's 680 K. All right. Mbappe, 660K, where did I buy him? 779K, so both of these cards are down 130K since Friday night, which is, excuse me, which is really low. Obviously, you guys know it's very, very low. What I will tell you guys is this. I'm thinking that icons, and I'm not sure about golds yet, I'm not sure about them yet, but what I'm thinking is that we're going to have so much panic for the next odd few days or this so odd days, like Messi's card is almost under, I think is it almost under 900? It's probably under 900 at this point, which is crazy. If you guys look on a graph at Messi's card, to say that this card is under 900K is just ridiculous. It's 895K, 940 yesterday, it's been a mill all FIFA, and it's been a mill all the month of December. We are getting to a certain point soon where this is getting crazy. And the icon index at 63 is the lowest it has ever, ever been. I have two Linekers in my club, guys, at 440. He On my transfer list, he's not even selling. He, like, he's not even selling. He's 380 right now. It's the lowest he's ever been. The guy's, the guy's not even selling. So this is the panic, right? Right now is the panic. I don't know what else to tell you, but this is 100%. This is the panic, right? This is, I don't know how long this goes on for. It might go on for another two days. I would assume it'll go till Wednesday. Maybe not as intense. It may start to pick up tomorrow night and Wednesday because, well, I don't know how much more panic we can have, but this right now is 100% the panic. And if you go back and you look last year now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, last year's market was way different than this year's market. So don't really take a full look at it, but let's take a look at what happened to Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, around team of the year time. So team of the year started the sixth. He was 2.2. He did go down a bit, right? That's a meta gold. He was also out of packs. But the fact of the matter is super expensive card, right? Let's take a look at like a little bit more of a, uh, let's say like a mid tier. I mean, Mateus, I don't love because Mateus probably has like team of the year midfielders coming in with him. But uh, let's take a look at like, also, the thing is, guys, there wasn't too much panic selling last year for Team of the Year. That is something to consider. Like, there was not nearly as much panic selling for Team of the Year last year. Um, January 6th. Here, here, here's my thoughts, right? And you guys can see here. I think Team of the Year was actually here. I'm not really sure. Well, best, best went down to 1.6 and then went back up to 1.9. This is what I want to make clear to you guys. We didn't have this kind of panic last year like much at all um what did happen though was that the weekend league of the team of the year last year so like the weekend of team of the year last year the market went up a ton i just remember that that the market like went up 20 percent in general last year in my opinion with these meta goals the 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 rule that i always have in fifa is that if you have days on days on days of panic you shouldn't be selling you should always hold that that is like always my rule with FIFA. Whenever I see a ton of panic selling, I never personally sell into that. And it's especially with icons. Like some of these icon prices at the moment are, are kind of just absurd. Like this real Ferdinand was 740 last weekend. 
he's still 700, but I saw him 650 like this morning on my on my uh, companion app. So, like, just just try to hold your horses as well, guys. That's also another thing that I would say. Like, just try your best to not buy everything in this market. I know it's really tempting, but look at me. I've got 22 mil on my transfer list that I'll probably have to take a loss on now because I had a buyer. So that's my own problem, but that's what happens when you have a buyer. We've got Pires at 405. The guy doesn't even sell right now at like 400K. So clearly I made the mistake of buying some cards and it happens. But the fact of the matter is that nobody is really going to buy cards this week because everybody's too afraid. Also, EA have done a really good job this year of taking coins off the market. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit a little bit about this with you guys today because I believe that EA have taken the complete wrong approach this year. I think what they had thought they were going to do was take all these coins off the market and so that everybody would spend FIFA points. And realistically, what is happening is that people are just quitting FIFA. People don't care that EA is doing this whole approach. People are literally saying, F FIFA, I'm stopping. That's a fact, though. That's what's been happening. EA thinks that they're killing it this year. They're taking coins off the market. They're making people do first owner SBCs. People are not having it. People are just leaving the game. So I pray that EA takes, takes another approach next year because the approach they're taking this year is not working. And it's killing the game. It really is killing the game. Because people don't want to be broke. People don't want to like have to deal with these crashes every week. Nobody wants to deal with a broke market. It's it's a fact though. Nobody really wants to deal with it. So I, I pray that EA kind of hope to find a way to rework what they're doing next year because it's not a good it's not a good way to go about things, man. They're messing it up. Also, I had made a Twitter video yesterday about this, man. And I really disagree with what's been going on in the milestone section. Okay? This is pathetic. I don't even know who this guy is. But all I know is that the card is just bang average. You can't drop this card in January with Team of the Years, man. And another thing, right? EA have comp they have uh, made a Twitter this year for like a communication situation. And nobody knows what the hell is going on. Guys, we've had Pulitano since like October. And it says at the top, hold on to the group reward for an additional upgrade opportunity. I haven't heard a damn confirmed word about upgrade opportunities. I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anybody tell me. When these cards are getting upgraded, it seems like there's no official news on any of this. So I, I don't know with EA, man. You guys got to try to figure it out, though, because you got to tell us what's going on with these cards. Because at the moment, this card, Moy Gomez, yeah, he's got a, I think he's got a five-star weak foot. It's trash, man. You have to get 40 Rivals wins for this guy. Like, you guys got to tell us how much are they getting upgraded. You know, is there, is there going to be two upgrades, one after Team of the Year, and then one around Team of the Season when these cards are irrelevant? Because in that case, who the hell cares, right? Who the hell cares about these cards? So... Hopefully EA comes in with some transparency and, and tells us and delivers some of these uh, some of these issues, man, with the game right now. It's not good. Um, okay, so that's a pure sold. Guys, the fact of the matter is with my account, we've been doing really well recently, and that's not a flex. It's just it's facts, right? We've been doing really well. The fact of the matter is that we are going to have to take some losses um, today or tomorrow. Now, Nick, why are you why, why are you selling, right? Why, why would you sell? Guys, the, the way that I'm thinking about it, right, is that I know, that, I know that some of the stuff that I'll sell today, let me give you an example, right? Gary Lineker, I have two at 440, two, well, 450. Had them on Friday night, was trying to trade them then. Okay, I got stuck with them. It happens a lot with me. I just get stuck with cards. It's kind of a thing of my, my trading process, right? 420 right now on the market, 409. The fact of the matter is, do I think he rebounds maybe back to 430 to 450? I do. But for me, I think I could do more with the coins, even taking like a 60, 70K loss on each card. I think I could do more with the coins in this next period of days where if I had those coins, I would be able to move move around with them. And then I think what I'm planning on doing, guys, because you guys know, I don't play Division Rivals. I don't I don't play those modes, right? I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is that I'm gonna lazy list Neymar and Mbappe. And this is always my my 100% like thought process towards any of you guys who are looking to, to, I guess, maneuver your clubs. If you guys are never playing with tradable players like during the week, or if you're just, whenever you're going away, so you're going to work, you're going to school, whatever you're doing, Always list your players, man, because I have told people this before and they've tweeted me like, yo, I didn't even want to sell this car, but I sold it at this price. So somebody, for example, that I know basically sold Messi as a lazy buy price, like the 300K overpriced. And what he was able to do is make 300K on that card and just buy him back when he got home because he was he made so many coins on them. So that's what I would do. And once I get two two free transfer list spaces, uh, I'm listing up Ney and Mbappe and I'm probably going to list them closer to the price that I bought them at. The reason for that, guys, is that you're going to be listing hour by hour day by day for days on end, right? So eventually you're probably going to get a hit on one of them and you'll be really happy that you did it, right? You'll be really, really happy that you did it. So that's what I would say. 
Um, guys, there are some cards, though, that I want to talk to you guys about in the video today that are going to really drop during Team of the Year. I'm not sure about Zidane because he's a new card. In my experience, guys, Rude Hullet, all these types of cards kind of do take a hit during Team of the Year. Why is the reason for that, right? Well, we get three Team of the Year midfielders that are just insane, right? This year, we're going to be getting definitely De Jong, probably KDB, and, and some other player. If it's Conte, it's going to be crazy, or Wijnaldum, either one. It'll be nuts, right, depending on who we get. And the fact of the matter is that these players usually replace these icons, right? People want to go use Team of the Year cards. I think it makes perfect sense, but that is the concept of why a lot of the time these kind of cards will really correct on the market. The same thing goes with R9 because R9 always drops every year because of Ronaldo. But this year we've got maybe Messi, Mbappe, Mane. I think EA will still put Ronaldo in. So I think it still stands true that people will probably go ahead. The top tier icons will always correct around Team of the Year. In my opinion, what you'll see this week, as I talked about earlier, you'll see such a continuous sell-off this week with some of these baby icons that, in my opinion, they'll probably rise come Team of the Year day just because the, the panic was so much for so long that with Team of the Year, you've got people doing lightning runs, you've got people doing all that, and there is going to be a coin injection uh, into the market for sure. So, yeah, I think that's about it for the video today, guys. I don't have much else to talk about. I don't think EA is really dropping anything in terms of stuff today. We might get another re-release SPC uh, or something like that today, but nothing that crazy. Another thing to talk about is what 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 is going on with this, right? EA are dropping now untradeable Footmas Challenge packs. Like, I don't even understand who at EA thought that was a good idea, but I'm finding it a little bit ridiculous, okay, that we're getting untradeable Challenge packs. The, the thing with this, guys, and you got to understand, this is also making the Team of the Week way more rare. So if you guys are looking to invest in the team of the week, it's actually making your team of the week investing way more profitable because if EA is bringing in tradable pack rewards all week, it's obviously going to spike the prices of cards in the market if there's less supply, uh, right? Out of packs, if these cards all have less supply, they'll probably do better. Guys, a lot of you ask me, who do I like out of packs this week? It's really tough because it's team of the year week, right? So a lot of stuff is not rising. Mendy and Firmino would be the two that I really like. Um, those two I like as investments this week. I think there's a ton of other good ones in this team of the week, right? There's nothing wrong with it. But I like Mendy and Firmino. What I may do this team of the week, guys, is I may do a little bit of a club stock with some of these guys. Um, just because a lot of their prices right now look really good. Um, let me take a look at some of the... I mean, you got you got some really you got some really appealing prices at the moment, right? You've got Timo Werner at 130. Kolarov at 22. I like Mendy a lot at like 42. Right? You got a lot of nice looking prices. Allen's at 90. I really like Allen out of packs too. William could be a great pickup for like a mid-budget guy. You know, in the mid twenties, Ben Yedder even. You know, Ben Yedder's um, Ben Yedder's gonna be good, guys, because Ben Yedder was used all week and he was max price all weekend, so he interests me as well. So, yeah, that's about it today, boys. Um, long live the squad. The Italians, they sucked, so they're gone. I discarded Maldini last night on my stream, my baby Maldini, because he sucks, and because I made a wager to say if I lost the last game, I had to discard him, and I lost the last game. Sure enough, like 4-0, I got whipped. I suck at FIFA, by the way. I'm so bad now. I got to get back to it because. I'm really rusty. I, I think I lost like four or five games this weekend. So we got to figure it out because it's not going with the team. Uh, and then we used our Lone Zidane as well. So he's basically going to be gone. So thank you guys for watching the video today. I appreciate it. I'll keep you guys updated. We have double uploads coming all week for you guys because this market's crazy. So double uploads for most of this week. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. Peace.